Science Grade 5 Quarter 4 Module 5 Constellations After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Identify constellations that can be seen at particular times of the year. 2. Explain why the positions of the constellations change throughout the year, and 3. Appreciate the importance of constellation. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. It is a group of stars that form a certain pattern. A constellation. B galaxy. C planets. D solar system. 2. It is observed in the sky of the northern hemisphere which means the Great Bear. A Draco. B Hunter. C Ursa Major. D Ursa Minor. 3. It is visible in the sky of the northern hemisphere where its Latin name means the little bear. A Aries. B Aquarius. C Capricorn. D Ursa Minor. 4. It is the Southern Cross constellation observed at the sky of the southern hemisphere. A Cancer. B Centaurus. C Crux. D Draco. 5. It is the constellation which means the hunter that tells the Earth's east and west sky. A Orion. B Pavo. C Pisces. D Sagittarius. 6. These are the twelve constellations which keep a definite circular belt or path in the sky. A Gemini. B Leo. C Scorpio. D Zodiac. 7. Its English name is Dragon which is visible in the sky of the Northern Hemisphere. A Draco. B Gemini. C Grus. D Hydrus. 8. It is one of the southern constellations which resembles a fly. A Cassiopeia. B Musca. C Virgo. D Volans. 9. It is the Earth's movement that caused different constellations in the sky to be seen at different times of the year. A Revolution. B Rotation. C Inertia. D Gravity. 10. It is a fixed star in Ursa Minor located at the north which is used by navigators as their guiding star. A Grus. B Hydrus. C Polaris. D Ursa Major. Lesson 1. Constellations. Thousands of years ago, ancient astronomers, as they studied stars in the night sky, saw different images of objects, animals, and heroes in the Roman and Greek mythology in the grouping of stars. A group of stars that form a certain pattern is called constellation. Today, astronomers listed a total of 88 constellations. Identify the word described in each statement by choosing the correct answer in the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. One. It is the apparent change in the appearance of the moon. Two. It is the phase when the moon is not visible from the earth. Three. It is the phase when we see half of the lighted side of the moon about a week after the new moon. 4. It is the phase when a full moon appears as the entire circle in the sky. 5. It is the phase when we again see half of the moon's lighted part on the third week of the month. 6. It is the phase when the moon is between the appearance of the quarter moon and the new moon. 7. It is the phase when the new moon is in between quarter moon and the full moon. 8. It is when the moon seems to be growing after a new moon. 9. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. 10. It appears after a full moon. Title, Observing Star Patterns Science Skills, Observing, Inferring Problem, How do star patterns look like? Caution Make sure an adult is supervising you while doing this activity. What you need. Pen. Bond paper. What you need to do, note, you can do this on a clear night sky. 1. On a clear night sky, 
go outside and observe the stars. 2. Find patterns of stars that look something familiar like a shape of an object or animals. 3. Draw the group of stars you see. Note their position and include drawing of what you think each pattern resembles. What have you found out? 1. What star patterns have you observed? 2. How can recognizing star patterns be useful? Have you ever tried to observe the night sky? Were you able to see different patterns of stars? In this module, you will learn different star patterns and where they are usually observed. Come and join me in exploring different constellations. What are constellations? If you are going to observe the sky on a cloudless night very keenly, you will notice the patterns formed by groups of stars. The groups of stars that form distinct patterns in the sky are called constellations. The ancient people first observed these groups of stars as outlines of animals, mythological heroes, gods, and other objects. Naming Common Constellations The International Astronomical Union IAU, made a list of the official modern constellations. There are already 88 constellations on the list, and many of these constellations were discovered by the ancient Greeks. There are 28 northern constellations. They are visible from the sky of the northern hemisphere. They include Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Draco, and Cassiopeia. There are 48 southern constellations visible in the sky of the southern hemisphere. They include Crux, Musca, Pavo, Grus, Volans, Hydrus, Triangulum Mostral, and Centaurus. There are 12 constellations of the zodiac, an imaginary belt circling the heavens close to the plane of the ecliptic, or the Earth's orbit around the Sun. They are the Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Changing constellations. Some constellations are seen only at particular times of the year because they are scattered around the solar system. As Earth revolves around the Sun, it changes its location in space in relation to other stars and constellations. However, 
After a year, the constellations seem to return to their original location in the sky. This is because the Earth has also returned to its original location in the solar system after one revolution around the Sun. Uses of Constellations 1. It is used to tell general directions. Constellations are useful to navigators. Ursa Minor, Ursa Major, and Cassiopeia are constellations that are used by navigators to tell the north direction. Polaris, found at the last star of the handle of the Little Dipper in the constellation Ursa Minor, tells north. The Orion constellation tells the Earth's east and west sky. The Southern Cross or Crux constellation is located at the Southern Hemisphere. 2. It is used to measure and tell seasons. The twelve constellations which we called as the Zodiac keep a definite circular belt or path in the sky. 3. It is used to locate stars and galaxies. Constellations are used by astronomers to locate stars, nebulae, and galaxies. Activity 1. Match each Latin name of constellation in column A with the corresponding English name in column B. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Column A 1. Cassiopeia 2. Centaurus 3. Crux 4. Draco 5. Grus 6. Hydrus 7. Musca 8. Orion 9. Pavo. 10. Triangular Mostral. Column B. A. Cassiopeia. B. Centaur. C. Crane. D. Dragon. E. Fly. F. Flying Fish. G. Hunter. H. Peacock. I. C. Serpent. J. Southern Cross. K. Southern Triangle. Activity 2. Identify the English name of the following zodiac constellations. Choose your answers from the words inside the box and write them on a separate sheet of paper. Activity 3 Draw a star if the statement is correct or sun if it is not. Do this on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Some constellations are seen only at particular times of the year because they are scattered around the solar system. 2. As moon revolves around the sun, it changes its location in space in relation to other stars and constellations. 3. However after a year, the constellations seem to return to their original location in the sky. 4. Constellations are not useful to navigators. 5. Constellation is used to tell specific directions. 6. The twelve constellations which we called the zodiac, keep a definite circular belt or path in the sky. 7. Constellations are used by geologists to locate stars, nebulae and galaxies. 8. Astronomers used Polaris as their guiding star. 9. The Southern Cross or Crux constellation is located at the Southern Hemisphere. 10. The Orion constellation tells the Earth's east and west sky. Fill in the blanks with the correct words inside the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. The groups of stars that form distinct patterns in the sky are called, one blank. The ancient people first observed these groups of, two blank. As outlines of animals, mythological heroes, gods, and other objects. Some constellations are seen only at particular times of the, three blank. Because they are scattered around the solar system. Our knowledge about constellations will help us in knowing general, four blank. Measuring and telling, 5, blank. And locating certain stars and galaxies. Title, How do constellations help people? Science skills, observing, inferring. Problem, How do constellations help people? Caution, Make sure an adult is supervising you while doing this. Activity. What you need. Paper. Pencil.
what you need to do, note, you can do this on a clear night sky. 1. Observe the sky on a clear and starry night. Look for the small dipper and the big dipper their relative positions are shown above. Notice that the two stars in the bowl of the big dipper, Ursa Major, form a straight line with the north star, Polaris, of the small dipper. They are pointing to the Polaris so they are called pointers. Polaris is the star at the tip of the handle of the small dipper. 2. Observe the position of the Polaris and the pointers for about one hour. What have you found out? 1. For about one hour of observing the Polaris, have you observed any changes? 2. What can you infer from this observation? 3. How is this observation useful to people? Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. What is a constellation? A. It is a hot glowing sphere of gases. B. It is nearer to Earth than the other stars. C. It has a higher temperature than the other stars. D. It is a group of stars that form distinct patterns in the sky. 2. Which of the following constellations is visible in the Northern Hemisphere? A. Crux B. Musca C. Pavo D. Ursa Minor 3. Which of the following is one of the Southern constellations? A. Cassiopeia B. Crux C. Draco D. Ursa Major 4. Which of the following is one of the Zodiac constellations? A. Aries B. Cassiopeia C. Draco D. Grus 5. Which of the following constellations resembles a hunter? A. Centaurus B. Hydrus C. Orion D. Triangulum Austral 6. Which is true about the constellation Hydrus? A. Its English name is Fly B. Its English name is Flying Fish C. Its English name is Sea Dragon. D. Its English name is Water Bearer. 7. Which of the following statements is not true about Ursa Minor? A. It is a northern constellation. B. Its English name is Little Bear. C. It is a southern constellation. D. Polaris is found at the last star of the handle of the Little Dipper in this constellation. 8. Why are some constellations can be seen only at particular times of the year? A. Because they are scattered around the solar system. B. It changes its location in space in relation to other stars and constellations. C. After a year, the constellations seem not to return to their original location in the sky. D. The moon returned to its original location in the solar system after one revolution around the sun. 9. Why are constellations important? A. It is used to praise gods. B. It is used to tell general directions. C. It is used to measure distance of the earth to the sun. D. It is used to brighten the sky with their beautiful patterns. 10. Once there were no clocks to tell time. People relied on constellations which is a way people use constellations to tell time. A. Farmers studied constellations to mark seasons. B. Sailors used constellations to steer their ships at night. C. Construction workers used constellations to build roads. D. Constellations are used by astronomers to locate stars, nebulae, and galaxies.